this is Pamela from Keller Williams Realty and today I'm highlighting a seller. I recently sold his house in Manteca and we put an asking price of $4.99. He sold it for $70,000 above asking, which he's very happy about. And I want to just talk to him a little bit today about uh, some of the things that he did to get his house prepared and what I asked him to do in order to have it sell and for a higher price. This is Brian. Yes, hello, how are you? Brian, tell me what are the, some of the first things I asked you to do in preparing your house for sale? Well, for one, to get the, get all the inspections taken care of. That way there's no hidden things in the, inside the house that I wasn't aware of maybe. And then also uh, uh, taking a lot of pictures down and keeping the, the staging part of it kind of simple. Uh, and it, it went very smoothly and uh, I'm very happy. Thanks, Brian. Yes, he had a lot of personal ph photographs up on the wall and all over the place. <laughs> so he didn't want to take them down, but he listened to me because people like to envision themselves in the house they might be purchasing and they get distracted from pers by seeing personal photos. Another thing we did is we took professional photography so that his listing would shine and, and we would get more people interested in it, which that really worked a lot. Um, they are beautiful photographs of his inside of the house and his beautiful backyard. Um, we ended up having over 40 calls, which I made appointments and spread them. We spread them out maybe every half hour to give people time. And that was during the COVID, so we had to do that. That was part of the rules. Um, the funny part about this is a year before, in June, Brian had clicked on something asking uh, for a cash offer on his house, something he saw on the internet. And I, I called him up, I followed up, and I explained the difference between a cash offer and um, regular market value offer. And at that time when we were talking, he said he wouldn't go any lower than 500000 I said, well, I'm doing the comps and it doesn't look like it's gonna sell for 500,000, maybe 450. And he did have a freight train that goes in the back of the property line, which I thought might hurt him. But, and that was another th factor I was considering. Anyways, finally in May, um, we put his house on the market, but the house across the street had just sold for 530. So I said, this is the perfect time to put it on the market. My strategy was let's go a little bit lower. So we put it on the market for 499. We brought a lot of people in. Um, had at least 12 offers and part of the process is deciding not just the best and highest offer but really the best terms are important and we knew um, this offer that we received was 570 we knew it probably wouldn't appraise for that so the offer that removed the appraisal contingency that was the best one and it was for 570 so now Brian is in his new house here in Copperopolis and he's enjoying life with yes. all that cash. Yay! So would you say now is a good time to sell? Yes, absolutely. It, it may stay like this for a little bit. And would you say Pamela Macera is the best real estate agent that you know? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yep. I did not pay him to say that yeah. either. Anyways, call me if you need help selling your house or if you're interested in buying. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.